1985, the Transformers toy line introduced triple changers. Transformers who could convert between three modes, robot and two different vehicle forms. In 1987, this concept was significantly advanced with the introduction of the bot we're taking a look at in this episode. The very first six changer, Six Shot. Six Shot's toy transformed from robot to starfighter, armored car, laser pistol, winged wolf, and tank. The figure's unparalleled number of transformations saw him marketed as the ultimate Transformers challenge, and his instructions came sealed with a sticker, daring kids to try and figure out as many of his different modes as they could on their own before opening them. Sixshot was characterized as a Decepticon whose only purpose in life was to kill and destroy, whose variety of alternate modes made him a one-robot army. His sole redeeming feature was a warped sense of honor that saw him always speak respectfully of those he had killed. But despite his toy being treated as a big deal, Sixshot appeared in very little English language media at the time. The Transformers animated series featured him in only one short scene in its final season, in which he used each of his five alternate modes to take out the aerial bots one after the other. Five up, five down, it's like shooting cyber ducks in a barrel! And his comic book appearances were the briefest of the brief. A single panel cameo in the Marvel comic, and a couple of scenes in the obscure and short-lived Transformers in 3D from Blackthorn Publishing. But overlooked by media as he may have been, his toy continued to be sold in 1988, and a six-changer was added to the Autobot ranks the same year, Quick Switch, who was advertised as being Sixshot's son. Don't ask me how that works. Where Sixshot really rose to prominence was in 1987's Japanese original animated series, Transformers The Headmasters. He was one of the main Decepticon characters in the cartoon and its ancillary media, serving as the commander of the Decepticon's Earth-based forces. The series reimagined Sixshot as a ninja, able to cloak himself in shadow, appear and disappear at will, alter his appearance, and even create duplicates of himself. He frequently clashed with Chrome Dome and the Autobot Headmasters, and was responsible for the deaths of Chrome Dome's friends, Abel and Jack. But his most famous kill was his opposite number, Autobot Earth Commander Ultra Magnus, who he offlined using his secret seventh mode, the Wing Wolf, a form invented for the cartoon which combined the strengths of all his modes into one. But Decepticon Headmaster Leader Scorponok didn't trust Sixshot, and eventually he betrayed and abandoned the ninja during a battle in space. Stranded on the planet Dyra, Sixshot had to work with the Autobots' human friend Daniel Witwicky to fend off the planet's native rock monsters. Spurned by the Decepticons and touched by the boys' kindness, Sixshot chose to help the Autobots in the final battle to stop Scorponok from destroying the Earth. In 1989, Sixshot's toy was retooled and recolored to create the Autobot Sixchanger Great Shot. Available only in the Japanese market, he had a rhino mode instead of a wolf. A member of the same ninja clan as Sixshot, the Six Clan, Greatshot was a former criminal turned wandering samurai, who appeared in a few episodes of the Transformers Victory animated series, helping Star Saber's Autobots battle his ex-comrades, the Decepticons Blue Bacchus, Black Shadow, and Guyhawk. It doesn't seem like it was intentional, but this criminal past, added to the fact that both characters were voiced by actor Michihiro Ikemizu, led fans to speculate that Great Shot might actually be Six Shot himself, reformed with a new identity. Either way, that was the last that would be heard of Six Shot for over a decade. His name wouldn't be used in a Transformers series again until 2004's Transformers Energon. But as was common with bots of this time who shared the names of classic characters, Energon Sixshot had no connection to the original. The name didn't even seem particularly relevant to him, as he had only three modes, Robot, Tank, and Satellite. As seen in the Energon animated series, this Sixshot was an engineer and the younger brother of the Decepticon Shockblast. While in prison on Cybertron, he learned that Shockblast had died in battle, 
and he soon busted out of jail and joined up with Galvatron's Decepticons to seek revenge on the Autobots for his brother's demise. He proved to be an insubordinate little weasel whose pursuit of vengeance caused him to repeatedly disobey orders and foul up Galvatron's schemes, which earned him several punishment beatings. Luckily for Sixshot, Galvatron needed his technical skills enough not to kill him. But eventually, Sixshot pushed his luck too far when he attacked Galvatron, and Galvatron, powered up on Super Energon, grew to colossal height and stomped the treacherous Sixshot to death. The original Sixshot, meanwhile, spent the early 2000s once again making small cameo appearances in comic books. Dreamwave Productions did have a bigger role planned for him in their comics, but the company went out of business right after his appearance was teased. But he would eventually get his chance to shine in IDW Publishing's comic books, which introduced the character in his own Spotlight one-shot in 2006. IDW Sixshot was a specially engineered super warrior capable of ending all life on a planet. So terrifyingly powerful that even his fellow Decepticons feared him. But a life of only death and destruction left Sixshot haunted by a feeling of emptiness. So when the aliens known as the Reapers offered him a new purpose by inviting him to join their crusade to wipe out war by killing those who waged it, he accepted. Sixshot and the Reapers attacked the Decepticons, but Sixshot's defection was short-lived, as he was immediately taken offline by a shutdown code that Megatron had programmed into him for use in the event that he ever turned traitor. Sixshot would later be revived and briefly mind-controlled by the mad scientist Jaxus, after which he set out on his own, his pursuit of new targets bringing him into conflict with the Throttlebots and the giant Metroplex. Sixshot would fall out of the spotlight again until 2016, when a new figure of him was released in the Titan's Return toy line, a faithful update of his original toy, albeit one that inverted his laser pistol mode and rebranded it a submarine. The toy's head was formed by the Titan Master Revolver, who granted Sixshot mastery of all forms of combat, and who was designed to look like Sixshot's old victim from the Headmasters, Jack. This figure was also released in the Japanese Transformers Legends toy line, for which it was also exclusively retooled and recolored to create a new version of Great Shot. Manga packaged with the figures continued Six Shot's story after the events of the Headmasters, revealing how he came to be targeted by the Six Clan for his crimes. To escape their wrath and atone for his misdeeds, Sixshot faked his death and, with Star Saber's help, joined the Autobots under the new identity of Great Shot, retroactively declaring that that decades-old fan theory was right and that the two characters were indeed the same bot. Though he is perhaps the original example of a Transformers character who was big in Japan while being largely overlooked in the rest of the world for most of his history, Sixshot has nevertheless always been a fairly well-remembered cult favourite among Western fans for his toy, if nothing else, and the 21st century has finally given him a little of the attention that he's long lacked. He currently appears in the pre-war setting of IDW's new rebooted comic book universe as a prominent member of The Rise, the terrorist cell that will one day become the Decepticons. And the birth of the Cybertronian War feels like an appropriate place for a killing machine like Sixshot. As he says himself, life is only worth living as long as there are enemies worth destroying. And those are the basics on Sixshot. Tell me what you think of him in the comments. Which of his six modes is your favourite? Everybody's got one, mine's the armoured car. Make sure to like and subscribe for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers. And if you're in a position to, check out Patreon to support the series and get early access to new episodes.